The reason why I champion sustainability in the role in which I do is because this is going to be here for much longer than I am, much longer than this business is going to be. And it's really important, therefore, from my perspective, that whenever we're doing business, we're doing it in the right way for all stakeholders, not those just close to us. I'm really strongly aligned with nature and what it brings to us, whether that's resources that we use in our business or in our everyday lives. Finance professionals shouldn't be afraid to challenge the status quo. Historically, finance people have generally always concentrated on cost, but don't be afraid to push that mindset and think a little bit further out than the five-year time horizon that is common. What you'll find is that there are many like-minded individuals in your organisation that also want to do the right thing. SMEs are, by their nature, very agile. They're not restricted by the normal corporate norms that you see by big banks or big PLCs. And this means they can be more agile and forward thinking, which increases competition and innovation. And sustainability really thrives in this context. I'm super fortunate that I work for a business that puts sustainability at its heart. And what motivates me to really challenge it that is that finance and sustainability are not always at odds. Nature and sustainability are just another stakeholder, much like suppliers, employees and customers that we work with day to day. And therefore it's really important that whenever we're making any decisions that we build that into our decision making process. Finance predominantly looks in the short term, three to five years at the absolute maximum. But whenever looking at returns from sustainability, you need to think much longer term, five, 10 or 15 years. Sometimes striking that balance can be really difficult. If you want to drive sustainability in your organisation, then the best thing is to stay ahead of the curve. Regulations are changing all the time, whether it's the plastic packaging tax, which is costing your business money, or whether it's the new supply chain directives coming from the European Union. It's really important you stay ahead of that, and a lot of those are sustainability-led. It's also important to engage with other stakeholders. Nature can be a stakeholder, but your employees, suppliers and customers will also be going on this journey with you and maybe at different places and can offer you insights that you would not otherwise have. And get involved in your business. Don't be afraid to roll your sleeves up and go speak to people on the factory floor. They will be doing things every day that are helping with sustainability. Whether it's sorting through waste, whether it's reducing operating inefficiencies, all of these things are beneficial not just to your business but also to the wider planet at large.